AJ, explain to me again why I'm not at my boutique and am instead escorting an apple tree all the way out to the desert. Well, Miss Rarity, I reckon that it's a really important journey. Important to whom, exactly? To me. It's important to me. And y'all are my friends, so thank you very much. AJ, I hate you. Openly and truly, I do not keep it a secret. Oh well, oh well, cause y'all are gonna help me lift this here tree and take it to wherever it needs to go as soon as we get wherever it is that we're going. And you are every bit as stupid as this trip if you think I'm going to help you lift a tree. Would you just stop your belly aching? I paid for your tickets. I feel like this is a pretty fair deal. I never said that you wouldn't help me lift an apple tree. And I don't suppose that you're familiar with opportunity cost because you are a mud pony high school dropout. If I skip a week of work, it will still cost me a thousand bits. Oh well then why'd y'all come along, Miss Theoretical High Fashion working all the time even though I know you don't have a job right now? Oh, I do not expect you to know how I work, and the fact that although I'm not working all the time, when I do work, I'm working very hard. And besides, everyone else was going and I didn't want to be excluded, and I thought we were gonna go and see your rich family in Manhattan. My family in Manhattan are orange farmers. This is an apple tree. Now, I could understand if you couldn't tell the difference between one apple tree and another, but if you can't tell the difference between an apple and an orange, well, so much for your highfalutin education. Is that so? Well, you know what? I was talking to the bachelor herd, and do you know what they said? They all agreed that those little freckles of yours, those white spots, they look like a fungal infection. Oh, I I'm sorry, can y'all speak up? The only thing I can hear is the honk of the town bicycle. Joke's on you. I don't have a horn. I have a bell. And I'm about to ring yours. Hey, guys. There's something going on up here. Man, look at all those fat, horny guys. You make me want to kill myself. They're bison, Dash. Hey, yes, you, you are filthy. They're a little too close to the train. Oh, I'll go and tell them. Hey, you are... And thus ends the terrible reign of Rainbow Dash. Yes. Hey! They're stealing my tree! Wasn't Spike sleeping under the bed in that car? Hey! What in the hell is going on? Oh yeah, there he is. Spike! Save the tree! Breathe fire on him! I hold all of you responsible! And he held out the last syllable of responsible and that's the last we saw of him. Those bison ran off with our tree and took Twilight's pet Spock with them. Are you the cousin that AJ slept with? Spike is really more of a slave than a pet. I mean, he's bitten kids before, so heads up. So, uh, you gossip with your friends, huh? I don't exactly say nothing. I just rarity's kind of extrapolating from some stuff. I don't know, AJ. If I were you, I might extrapolate with him. We ain't gonna have to get married now, are we? No, no, no. Extrapolating just means there's a lot of insubstantial rumors and no reason for anyone to be worried. Oh, thanks, Celestia. Yeah, praise be, though I don't know if we should be thanking Celestia yet. It's in our hooves, you know, if the family has its way. Yeah, yeah, sure, not not to eliminate, uh... Hey, speaking of family, how's your brother doing? He's fine. He said hello. Granny's still kicking. Apple Bloom hasn't got her cutie mark yet, but it'll come in time. She seems to take a shine to fixing stuff. Well, that's good, that's good. So your brother, though, is he still... does... D does he still practice? Like, I mean, does he still like to practice in the bachelor herd during the off-seasons? Why, Brayburn, I don't know. I don't keep up with that sort of thing. Does he ever say it helps out a lot? It don't, I imagine. Okay. So about Spike, the tree, and the buffalo. Right, right. Well, it's a right big deal because, as you know, well, we've all busted our humps trying to get this apple orchard starting in the desert. Oh, I know something you can bust. Just ignore her, please. We're moving on. Anyway, the earth is hard, cracked, lacks nutrients, there's virtually zero rainfall, the soil pH is all wrong, and on top of that, we haven't done a great job pruning the fruit to prevent the tree limbs from breaking. Those darn buffalo are gonna be the death of this harvest! We've established ourselves here, and then they showed up demanding the right to stampede across this land. And for what? I don't know. We didn't ask. But just look! The town is approximately no more than 50 feet across! Why don't they just go around us? Man, I'm lost in the desert. Any minute now I'm gonna get attacked by giant scorpions. There is much worse things awaiting Rainbow Dash than scorpions. Yes. Pinky, what are you doing in the desert? Wait, are you a mirage? Pinkie Pie is a menagerie of justice and suffering. Yes, her piercing gaze saw through the fakery of your death. Who are you evading, Rainbow Dash? Your methods are amateur. Yes, you gotta be quiet. I'm evading giant scorpions. 
Also, help me keep an eye out for those big fat horny guys. Oh no, what the crap is this? You fly away, Pinky. I'll stay and fight. Now there's no need for that. Skittles and Crazy are with me. So it turns out they stole AJ's tree because they really hate the apple orchard that her family is putting together. Also, they hate ponies, but they're okay with dragons. How'd they know we had the tree? I didn't ask. I guess they guessed. Well then how would they know that the tree was specifically in the caboose? Does it really matter? It so totally does matter. What if the tree was in like one of the front cars instead of the caboose? Well, I'd derail the whole train and kill everyone, but that's me. I can't speak for them. How come AJ is building an orchard in the desert? I got kidnapped before I even got to Appaloosa. And besides, I try not to ask questions because it never makes sense. It's all very suspicious. I can tell you why they are building an orchard. To make money by impeding our stampeding path. Who's this fat guy? This is Strongheart Dash. She's not fat. Or a guy. She's a bison. Well, I don't know how to tell their gender. Same way you tell a mare from a stallion. I am not here to look at buffalo, but... You're not here for any reason. Exactly. Okay, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, the point I was trying to make is that we have tried to negotiate with the ponies, but we have made no progress. Okay, now when you said negotiate, do you mean like you cried in the store? Because my mom says that when you make one-sided demands, that is not negotiating. That is very disrespectful. It is our land. We are not going to offer anything to use our own land. Look, she's really slow. So let's have Cheek Thunderhooves lay it out and then decide on a death sentence or something. The annual stampede is a lengthy ritual symbolic of the endless cycle of death and rebirth. Each year it is done, and every year we perform a choreographed song and dance number about the travels. But this year, there will be no song or dance routine. How can we choreograph when we have to travel 50 feet to the left or to the right just to get around this town? When I am reincarnated, I do not want to be told that we could not do this because I was too lazy in a previous life. I know how it is to be struck by fear with laziness. I will assist you. Okay, so here's our plan for saving Rainbow Dash from those buffalo. We wander off into the desert, and then it works itself out. We save time by finding you and the buffaloes, yes. Does anyone else just feel clumsy and all over the place today? And look, I brought a buffalo! I brought it here to negotiate with you guys. Okay, so here's the deal. You guys are building on their land, so all you gotta do is clear some of the trees so they can run through there, and that's it. That's my plan. Well, clearing a path would cost us a quarter million bits at least. Okay, I'll go tell them. So they said the land is worth like a quarter billion bits, chief fat guy. Are you being serious right now? A land is worth a quarter billion bits? Well then tell them they can have it for a quarter billion bits! So they said you could have the land for a quarter billion bits. Oh well, no way! That's insane! It take us generations to earn back that money! Yeah, but you're gonna be here for generations, that's how come the land is worth so much! No, no, no! A billion bits right now is worth way more than a billion bits several generations down the line! Don't y'all know how to do cost projections? I sure don't. Well, you've got to figure out a lot of inflation and so on. Basically, no, this land don't got infinite worth. So, apparently, I think I misunderstood how much the land was worth. That's how much they spent on the apples. They spent a quarter billion on apples? Yeah, I mean, AJ's family is just nuts about apples, although I guess that was maybe how much they thought it would be worth in the future. I don't know, Brayburn tried to explain, but it was just apple-based insanity. Okay, do not tell anyone I tried to sell the land. The land is sacred. Okay. They cannot have the land if they are not going to pay us somehow. Tell them they cannot have the land. So they say you guys can't have the land unless you pay for it, so here's the deal. They said if you're not willing to negotiate, then you have to pay them a quarter billion bits to use some of the land. What? That is outrageous. It is our sacred land. Tell them they can lick my butthole. So they said you could have the land if you lick the chief's butt. Would that really make this go away? Of course not. Good lord, what do these ponies think of us? Well, why did he offer it if it wasn't a serious negotiation? I cannot believe he thought that was an offer. What kind of depraved society do you come from? I was trying to indicate that his proposal of us paying him is unacceptable. And here I thought we were almost at a literal bottom to the solution for this conflict. Well, how about this? We'll give them a yield of our crops every year, and we'll lay down a trail for them to use that goes around the orchard. The land is sacred and worth a quarter billion bits. I am not going to settle for an apple pie once or twice a year as payment for this outrage. I think they need to be buffalo in the first place. Have that fellow marry my daughter, that might solve it. I don't want to get married. 
Too bad. This is for politics. Oh, gee, I don't, I don't know about marriage. You know, I, I've been thinking and maybe, you know, I might be more happy as a bachelor. He dare snub the daughter's hoof in marriage? I will see to it that he is boiled alive. We will strip the skin from his very flesh and wear it as a symbol of our rightful heritage over the region. It is okay, I am not mad. He was kind of a girly horse anyway and I'm not into that. He has hurt your self-esteem. He will be killed. Now wait, why am I the target of aggression? You tell him that if he's gonna wear my skin, I'll have his ass on a plate. Again with this, I have had enough. It is time for war. Okay, so, something went wrong. I think I need a do-over.